Hey everybody, and welcome to a series that, as impromptu as this is, I'm just going to name it the Three Musketeers series. I am your host, Northern Lion, joined by my esteemed co-host, Arumba. Hey! As well as Mathis Games. Yeah, yep, 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 that's me, Mathis Games. And Three Musketeers. Exactly. Impromptu. Are the Three Musketeers Spanish, actually? I think so. They are well, now. Yeah, exactly. We're going to rewrite history. So we're playing oh, some uh, cooperative and adversarial Crusader Kings 2. Uh, I'm going to be over here as the King of Galicia, or as Roomba said I should call it, Galley CIA, which makes it seem way more menacing. Uh, True. And we've got, uh, who is Leon here? Is this Roomba as the King of Leon? Yes, that's right, my brother. And... You are my brother. <laughs> <laughs> and Mathis as the uh, the King of Castile. So, uh, King Sancho. Sancho is a great name. It is a great name. What are you? Who are you? You're Ooh. King Alfonso. Ooh, nice. And I'm King Garcia. I don't know. I feel like I kind of got the short end of the stick in the King name. King Garcia. Game. Let's take a look. Oh, you're zealous. You're arbitrary. You're honest. You're rough. Oh, you're rough. Yeah. You no, know? I'm gonna um, subjugate you, and then we'll talk <laughs> after that. But uh, basically, we're gonna be doing some uh, multiplayer CK2 for the first time after a well, first time for me anyway. After a substantial uh, period of technical issue, we finally got it working and seemingly working perfectly as well. So uh, just to talk about this right off the top, um, we're gonna be playing simultaneously, and you can check out the videos for the uh, perspective of Arumba and Mathis over on their channels, which will be linked in the video description below, and I assume vice versa if you're watching this on one of their channels right now it's yeah. possible i might do that <laughs> okay it's gonna, it's gonna happen <laughs> we'll talk during we the will. negotiations we will. Yep. all right why don't we uh why don't we begin then okay speed two good speed two is is okay with me although it's been a little while it has been a while but i should i, I should be all right okay it has, all right. It has begun it has yes. begun so the, our, our immediate threat is going to be to the south so we kind of have this agreement that we're going to try and fight off the uh what is it you said the umayyads are going to be the big problem uh, well, that's that, not really. Not that's actually. I was wrong. That was at the eight sixty seven start. But we've got you know the Muslims. You, yeah. You, we should. We could call it the three conquistadors. Actually, that might be more fitting. Ah, I like that. But um, I have, of course, our sister. Do you guys know that we have a sister, Princess Araka of Castile? Am I, your, am I your brother? Are we all brothers? She is such a bitch. Yeah, we're all brothers. Oh, right? nice. She's in Zamora, Zam and she has claims on all of our shit. So watch out. All right, I'm at war. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> there was, a, there was in, a, man. a civil war that has begun. I don't, I've got to get used to the interface again. Just give me a second. Okay. Are you going to slow down? No, uh, no. Nah, nah, it's, it's okay. It's a very small war that I don't anticipate it being a problem. No, it's important. you got to call us in. All it's right. Oh, large bands of rebels have flocked to the... Here, it's important. There's one for you and uh, one for you. Please join me here. If, we, gotta... if, if you actually lose like half of your army to this little tiny Portugal... Portugal, yeah. whatever it is, problem. <laughs> then you immediately get attacked by the Muslims. Is that so, yeah, true? You gotta... Oh yeah, look oh, at that. Man. The the I'm, off they're waiting. Tassid, they're going to to attack you. That frightens if you me. Lose, if you lose power. Wow, Portugal. Seriously, what were you thinking, man? <laughs> it wasn't even for okay. succession, just for elective monarchy. We're Are not, you the world's like, not ready look. for that. <laughs> <laughs> a bit too forward thinking. I agree. Which one of you? Okay, so Garcia is is northern oh, no. line. Oh, one thing you could do in the uh, in the outliner, top right corner, you can yeah. turn on players, which is actually good. Outliner. Humans in multiplayer, that way you can click on them. Where is this? In the outliner, there's like a, oh, it's okay. to the right, right of the screen, there's like three buttons. There's a, one that looks like a play button, a lock, and then a open outliner category configuration. Okay. And you click that, on that. Oh, humans and then, in multiplayer, gotcha. Oh, yep, oh, and that okay. way you can see us, and you can also click on it to go straight to them. Nice. Gotcha. All right. All right. Sancho, I don't want you leading my troops. I don't need you to die right now. <laughs> horrendous turn of events for everybody. Come to Santiago. Save me. I'm working on it. Did you guys get a request from the King of Norway? Uh, no. If we accept, we'll be part of the Norwegian invasion. I, I'm not a big fan oh. of the Beatles. I'm going to refuse that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to come in with you on this battle then. That sounds good. I'll be there on the uh, 15th of March. Oh, perfect timing then. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure we're going to win this one. I would hope so. <laughs> our, sis our sister is fabricating a, a claim on the Duchy of Leon. Jeez. So she's going to have to go into the prison now. Oh, she raised her flag in rebellion. Uh-oh. Oh, you, okay. Now you have a war. <laughs> <laughs> our, sister, our sister's being a little bit of a witch. And here I am in Castile, um, just fine. Happy with what I am. All right, I you know, um, King, King Garcia, you're leading armies. Yeah, I'm a man of the, with a plan. All right, all right I, I just don't want you to die in combat. That that would be this. We just trounced these men. Funny. We did. 
if you die, then it goes to uh, to Mathis. Oh no! I mean, you can die then. I'm not. Too uh, how do I change that again? Do I? It's on the ruler. Um, screen? when you start marching your armies, it'll bring up like the tabs for your leaders, the three tabs of your army leaders, and you just click on your name and change it to somebody else. <laughs> okay, so no? apparently, are, are you going to help me against our yes, sisters? Yes, I, I have. Uh, <laughs> I've requested your call to arms. Oh, you didn't request me. What? You don't like me or something? I can. I will. Sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm being overwhelmed by the uh, amount of things going on here. Okay, I have the troop screen. How do I stop my ruler from uh, leading this army? Uh, you can't do it while you're sieging. You have to. Here, we'll pause it for you. Sure. Click on your click on your army and then tell it to move to another county. Okay. And now you can go to the assigned rulers screen. Uh, okay. How do I get to the assigned rulers? So screen? do you have your army highlighted? Right yes, now? I, I have. So, like, and you have them marching somewhere. Yeah. In the middle so is King Garcia. The, do you see the three people leading your armies, or yeah. it might be just one? So click on your leader. You like your guy's name. Mm -hmm. And then you just pick somebody else out of that list. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you, you can probably unpause it now. Oh, okay. But then make sure you keep your men sieging. Okay. So here's something really cool is um, Mathis and Northern Lion. I don't think either of you have used the keyboard shortcuts mod before. This is correct. No. So, like, who's who's got that army in Porto right now? Uh, and Porto still... is me. Okay, so click on the army and then just press the B key. Uh, all right, I click on the army, hit B. All right, that it brought opens up my... Up. Oh, okay. A whole new now hold. Now you can press B to to shift troops from the left to the right, or press Z to shift them from right to left. Oh, nice! So you can kind of use it like a slider. So what you should do right now just is bring actually, some men over to you. And nope, oh no, move them around. Take the twenty seven hundred, split it into three groups of about nine, and then carpet siege. Siege all of uh, what's his face. Got to throw Duke Nunu the <laughs> second of Portugal in jail. Salamanca and, um, has like, or sorry, not not Salamanca, Brock Gunk. Gaka. Oh, that was not. That, good. that sounded better. That was better. <laughs> there's a uh, Braganza. Uh, <laughs> yes, there's there's uh, too many men to be sieged. Like I have just not quite enough to actually successfully complete a siege. Really? Could yeah. you could you possibly toss me, Matt? This like literally seventy four men. Here, I'll send some army. All right. We'll yep, I can do that. Oh gosh, Sancho. my chancellor. My chancellor just improved relations with our with our sister, while we're at war with her. So he shows up, and he's all diplomatic-like. Call to arms. How, how do you guys feel about that call to arms? Did you just get one? Yeah, who was not. it, though? I don't know who That was, was Aragon, and they're fighting that, um, the Houdid, I think. Oh, gotcha. We're uh, dealing with our own stuff. Exactly. I'm going to solve my problem first. And also, I need to get married really badly. So. Same. And uh, it's pretty good counsel, actually. I should make them do something. Uh-oh, the Pope doesn't like me. As you won't Negative. be alive that much longer anyway, so. Why are you are you plotting to kill me? <laughs> no, no. Don't don't worry about it. No, just don't you worry you give it. me too much credit. I do have a plot to kill King Sancho. That's really not nice. Mm -hmm. Why would you Why do that? It's, it's a it's available. I'm not saying I'm doing oh, it. Okay, oh, okay. oh, you made me panic for a minute. Like, no what problem. What did I do against you? <laughs> <laughs> the I'm Pope is upset with my law free investiture. The Holy Father is asking us to change it. Hmm. Okay, so I could change to papal investiture. Sounds good. Um, I don't really have amazing wives to choose from, unfortunately. Same. I'm gonna go. So the into one the I want. Deep screen here. Search all. That's what I just did. I didn't find much. Oh no. Is the 1066 star? There's always like that one Christian, like 16 year old princess of the <laughs> Holy Roman Empire. I mean, she. This girl right here is pretty solid for military strength. But I'm gonna lose 300 prestige marrying her because she's just a courtier. Okay. Courtier. Say. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Naive appeaser who was chased seems choice. Um, hmm. Women, she's not in prison. Oh, search. Oh, that might be the problem. That was my silly decision there. Uh, why not just use the uh, the marriage finder button? It, it's all just courtiers for me. There's now, one princess. She's 14, though. I don't want a princess. I found the princess of Norway. She's my my lusty lady. <laughs> There's like three princesses and then all courtiers after that. Oh, dude, she's actually chased. Dang it. <laughs> That's, That's not, not a good thing. <laughs> Perhaps we should kill her. <laughs> that was you just married her. Half. I know, but I got you know, married. it's a honeymoon. I became uh, betrothed. I married a 16 year old genius. Nice. High five, brother. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> it's not gross at all.
Um, what Look, are, how, how only old are you? Thirty-one. Your dude's only thirty-one. Jesus, he's got like a real Breaking Bad type thing going on there. Yeah, he does. I don't know. My guy, my guy looks kind of pathetic. I like your beard. <laughs> well, thank you. It looks like somebody just told him that like he's gonna lose the kingdom. He's like, oh. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I have title succession on, on my death. No shit. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to grow a beard just like you because I can. Is there a grow beard option? Uh, if you have the right DLC, yeah. Well, since we can use your DLC because you're hosting. <laughs> yeah. Go to your character screen. There's Look, there's like a little barber. Go, go to the barber. Oh, barber. dude. Yeah. What is that from? His That's, DLC. That's uh, the DLC. Yep, it's I gave not, you all my DLC. It's not ruler oh, to the heroic though. King Sancho. Blessings upon you and your house. We request that you honor your obligation and answer this call to arms against King Eric the Second of Sweden. Wait, yeah, sure. I, Let me just get my fleet together and I'll. Declining would cost us twenty-five prestige if we. The Norwegian holy war for Bergleslagen. Per Bergleslagen. Is the siege still going here? Because it looks like it's not going for me. In the. Well, we're playing on speed two, so it's just really slow. I don't even see the no, other bar though for like fatigue, or is that because I'm not leading the siege? Correct. Might, yeah. Okay. That might I I still need like seventy um, troops down here. Who is this guy? Am I married to his like sister or something? What obligation do I have to you? Uh, press F two, go to allies, and you can see how you're allied to him. Oh, okay, smart. I don't see him in my allies list at all. <laughs> then there's no re. I don't know. <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea why. You are all my allies. I have uh, the mayor of Toro for some reason, but that's it. He's not in here. So Why am do I you, obligated? Do you have any problem with me keeping her sister in prison for the rest of her life? Dude, or, by all means, man. She I sounds mean, like dude, she's she, a real problem. She took my toys when I was growing up. <laughs> she's got claims on her. T I, could, I could just execute her, if you don't mind. Well, I'd, I'd become a kinslayer, but... I know. just I will turn the other way. That's totally up to you, <laughs> yeah. Normally, what happens when you're playing with other AI is, like, they get you... Pissed. Either Mathis or Northern Lion, one of you two would support her claims and try to overthrow me. Mm. <laughs> so I'm thinking I should just kill her. <laughs> no danger of that right now. Right, yeah, not right now. Maybe Let me right. go check my council. I haven't even looked. Oh, they love me. That's a good sign. I'm going to invite several nobles to court. Possibly get someone with a good martial skill to become a better right, I definitely want you to do that. You should try to try to be a little careful about replacing landed marshals, though, because you'll piss off your counts and reduce your overall levy. I don't think this guy is a count. You can tell just by looking at their their circle. Yeah, he's just a normal. He's a regular dude. Oh man, being a Christian again. It's been so long. Fabricating claims has got to be the only thing I can do. I miss being Norwegian in that re for that reason. Who are you trying to fabricate Before claims against? Navarra. Yeah, fair enough. Fortunately, we have all these juicy Muslims to attack. That's true. <laughs> but I, I kind of want to expand my base lands first and take what's uh, kind of neighboring right now. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I like that. I mean, you're on the the kind of side that has some of our neighbors that you can take very easily. You're right. Aragon and Navarre shouldn't put up too much of a fight. Once the war, that's when we take care of the war that we have going on in your lands. Yeah. Assuming one of you guys could send me like 70 dudes and I could... Uh... Where? To where? Oh, wait. I have literally 71. I think I need four men to start this siege in the bottom right of uh, Portugal. Oh, okay. okay. I see it. Our sister's trying to kill me now. With a plot? She just, uh, we just caught her. Yeah, she's trying okay. to plot against me. Yeah. Oh, but she'll she'll accept my request to end the plot. It's nice that's, of her. That is nice good. of her. You know, no. Think about it. She could have been so much worse. That's one of those mm -hmm. things I always thought was a little gamey with CK2. It's just like, okay, fine. I won't try to kill you anymore. I promise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do I trust you? I don't worry about it. In reality, I'm like, oh, wait. The uh, the war that we're fighting in Portugal, it's at 100%. All right, you can end that then. <laughs> maybe I will, maybe I won't. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> so now's the time to go on the offensive because you've just united your country. Mm -hmm. You could even release that guy and get more levy out of him. The uh, Duke Nunu. Uh, I'm just going to march into Zahara, Zahara here and help you just crush this guy. We're about to siege the top holding, and she'll surrender. Uh, and well. then she is going to the Ublet. Oh, no. Your sister. Fantastic. All right, we have unified our country, sort of, kingdoms. I mean, kind of. Okay. Marching my troops home. I've got well Slip and Navarre to take care of here. Thank you very We should much. probably wait until we actually have, like, heirs to go off to war, but... That's uh, what I, I'm a little nervous to do much when my heir is one of you. Well, yeah, same. Also, my wife is 15, so I've got to wait a little while on that one. I mean, my wife is... Oh, no! Oh, no! 
I have to get rid of her. Oh, what she's celibate. Oh, you <laughs> married I a saw <laughs> genius, and I just clicked marry. <laughs> ah, celibate one. Shit. Oh no, that's Here. awful. Am I your oh, heir? I like that. Let's let's plot to kill her. Maybe we can. Maybe can, can you? Her. Yeah, just can you invite me to the plot? Will that work? You? Yeah, actually, I can. I think I can. Will that I'll make join you join it as well? God, I'm sorry. It's like <laughs> we're just having our our weekly meet and drink, talking about our kingdoms and everything, <laughs> and I'm just like uh, my wife. She just doesn't put out. In a room over actually, here, like, you know what? Let's just kill her. I can't actually invite you, Northern Line, because you are not in the, uh, you know, in the same court. Mm. It, it might be better if, um, if you start the plot, because... Me? Your courtiers don't like me. All right, go ahead and cancel it off, then. Uh, kill her. I'm sorry. You're, you are phenomenal otherwise. <laughs> Except for the part where she doesn't sleep with you. Mm -hmm. Well, look... It's a real problem in the you know, Middle Ages. All right, none of my courtiers want to join either, so... Jesus. Um, I'll just invite you guys to the plot, though. Hopefully What's going on enough. in the rest of the world here? Weird. I don't, I don't think I can invite you, any of you, to the plot, actually. Yeah, because we don't share a court with her. Yeah, it'd be better if one of you did it, I guess, and then I just join. I figure our plot power would be higher that way. Do you guys see, I... like, Hereford it's up only... here? This is crazy, mm -hmm. in England. Or, yeah, there's still a lot of, uh, nor, like, Whoa, that is interesting. Oh, that was awful. God, can I request a divorce? No. Why? <laughs> don't have 100 piety. Imprison. Assassinate. I could pay the money to assassinate her, but no, it's not really worth it. Hmm. Especially with a 50%, essentially 50% chance of getting caught. Ugh. I'm just waiting for this fruit to ripen. Yeah, betrothed can marry. So, Boom. could one of you lend me, like, 40 gold, please? I, I need to, uh, just send me a gift. I got one. you. I got you. Wow, the only way I can send you a gift is if I send you 113 gold. <laughs> I'll, no, give it right, I'll give it right back. I will. I just need Sent. to be positive so that Go. I can declare a war. You can't Go. declare war while you're bankrupt. Because right now, Badajoz is fighting against some other Muslims. There's a great opportunity to swoop in and take over half of their land. So, in fact, right now, Northern Line, if you wanted to, you should declare a holy war on Badajoz over the Duchy of Beja. Where the heck is and we could just, Badajoz? Uh, it's directly south of us. I haven't been worried, worried about your divorce, and I just want to fucking be divorced. The best oh, way to do it, press press I, I, and then you're looking at the Duchy of Beja. Oh, uh, okay. So I can imprison her, and then just as kill her, but people would hate me. That's a terrible idea, actually. So it, who is the it, person it, that I'm declaring war on here? The the guy that's to the right of that, which is actually in the Duchy of, of Badajoz. Is it Amir he is, Abu Bakr? Yep. Okay. And if you declare war over Badajoz, then I, you know, we're both going after the same target. But if you declare war on the one next to it, ah, I see. We can kind of do a two, two forced attack, two pronged attack here. I see what you're uh, saying. We'll both... I'm just uh, zooming out real quick. France is completely fractured, and Aquitaine's back. Yeah, oh, wow. England is all sorts of weird too. It's now Mercia instead of Hereford. You see that? Weird. Yeah. yeah. And England is now like in Normandy. I have discovered a plot where Count Munio of Asturias. Seeks to fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Castile. It's not me. I'll give you, give you your money back now, if I can. Oh, I have to give you 147, apparently. <laughs> and, he won't, bit... and he won't end his plot, so I've got to try and imprison him. You're a bit greedy, I think, there, Mathis. <laughs> <laughs> you, you lend me 110, you want 145 back? Come well, on. I'm just saying. <laughs> it, there's interest in that loan. Apparently. Um, who is this guy? He's just my vassal. I guess I'll just try and imprison him. Yep, I got him. Nice. All right, sir, what do you got? Who are you? You are the Count of Asturias. So I could just take that away from you, I guess. Oh, my God, these men are the slowest marchers. Oh, people will be mad if I take it away from him, even though he plotted to take it away from me initially. You what? The public you have to throw him in prison pickled. first. He is in prison, and I can't, and I, like, if I take it away, um, my other vassals will be minus 20. Oh, check it out. La Mancha is beating up the army of the guy that we're attacking. That's awesome. Much appreciated. Yes. Feel the hate. <laughs> can, we just, can we focus here for a second? I need to kill my wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right. All right. I, I'll, I'll try to plot to kill her again, and I don't know. Maybe we can get her. Thank you. I'll send my chancellor over, and hopefully we can, I can get someone in your court to like me. And then maybe I'll be able to kill her.
Oh, good. My wife wants a horse. Sorry, honey. All these, uh, all these will be breeders. Minus uh, ten. You're a mean dude, man. That's... All right, let's just piss her off. I know. All right, I accepted. Let's try and get rid of her. Is there any way to get rid of celibate? No. Nope. Oh, nope. Awful. Nope. We're we're only at forty nine percent plot power. That's better than nothing. And that's okay. our signal, basically. Yeah. Yep. All right, so we're gonna be splitting these videos up. Uh, that'll be the end of episode one. I think we established some good stuff here. Uh, we, we've, you know, consolidated our lands a little bit. Mathis has made uh, the most grave marital mistake in Crusader oh. Kings 2 history, <laughs> and it's created some drama to move forward for. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all the support on the videos in the form of likes and, of course, uh, subscriptions if you want to see more. Make sure to go check out Mathis and Arumba's channels located in the video description below to see some more uh, high-level CK2 play as opposed to myself. I don't know if I'd call you higher level, but thank you. <laughs> well, in any case, Sounds good. thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll be back very shortly, especially from our end with uh, another video. But again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye.